Little Nerd is trigger, gate and clock processor. It has two inputs that are processed into five outputs depending on the mode and setting of each of the outputs. Input 1 is processed into outputs A, B and C and input 2 is processed into outputs D and E. The probability mix knob sets whether the D and E outputs are processed from input 2 or 1 with certain probability depending on the knob position. Parameters for each output are set by their knobs. By moving the knob RGBLAT shows a color of the mode. See manual for full list of modes. Pressing the mode button changes the mode. The knob sets first parameter. The second parameter of the mode is set by turning the same knob while holding the shift button. Since I have little nerd, I have little friend. So let's build up a patch by using the modes of little nerd. I will now set the D output to clock oscillator. That is a yellow color. And I will patch it through the multiple to input 1. I set output A as clock multiplier. That's blue. And multiply the clock to be 4 times faster. And patch it into input 2. Then I use another channel to set probability. That is white. And I will use this for triggering hi-hat sound. And then I will use output B to work as Euclidean sequencer, that is pink color. And I will use it to sequence my kick drum. I will use channel C as delayed divider, that is red color, to trigger my snare sound. Then, from another little nerd, I can use trigger repeater, that is cyan color, to make my snare sound more like a clap. And finally, I will use my clock again and process it through delayed flop divider, that is green color, to create gate signal to change the pitch of my bass line. It's a little nerdy, it's like riding the bicycle without hands, not easy but cool. Check this out! <laughs>